time has come in America to launch an intensive campaign to find a cure for cancer. Our recovery plan will invest in electronic health records. It will launch a new effort to conquer a disease that has touched the life of nearly every American by seeking a cure for cancer in our time. Since the war on cancer began in 1971, more than 14,800,000 Americans have died from some form of the disease. 1,500 die every day. That's 565,000 men, women, and children in 2009 alone. More people will die from cancer in this country in the next three years than all the American soldiers who died fighting since the American Revolution. From 1920 to the present time, we have made little or no progress in the treatment of adult cancers. So a person who gets prostate cancer or breast cancer today will live as long as a person who got it in 1920. No big change. With all the radiation therapy that we began in the 10s and 20s, combination chemotherapy in the 60s, immunotherapy that began in the 70s, PET scans, MRI scans, you name it, billions and billions and billions of research dollars that we've thrown into this whole area of cancer research and treatment, little or no significant progress in the treatment of adult cancers. They will burn it, they will cut it out, or they'll try to poison it. Heavy trading today in the biopharma sector. Blockbuster cancer drug Herbitux racked up nearly $425 million in sales. You have this entire industry that is not going to just pack up and go away. This is a business. 